The effort for comprehensive immigration reform is getting a big boost from one of the world's wealthiest tech titans, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. He's backing an immigration advocacy group that launched a new cable ad campaign on Tuesday. An ad buy of about $250,000 for two ads from Zuckerberg's group Forward, or FWD.US. Zuckerberg's group is also supporting Welcome.us, Welcome Us, a group putting PSAs in, putting out PSAs in June's Immigrant Heritage Month. Also, Zuckerberg is partnering with our friend Michael Skolnick, who is executive producer of five short videos directed by celebrities such as Entertainment Tonight correspondent Roxy Diaz, Naya Riviere from Glee, and also, as part of this project, Huck. Yes, Scandal star Guillermo Diaz, who plays a member of Olivia Pope's crisis management team, directed his own Welcome.us short, Valley of the Undocumented. Here's a clip. In the Valley of the Undocumented, we fear the mornings before the sun rises when our moms go to work on rich homes, hold our mothers long, long time at the door, scared that this will be the day that they will be ripped from us justly because they were taking a break from serving the rich to make a white lily prom corsage for our sister. And joining me now from Los Angeles is actor and director Guillermo Diaz. So nice to have you here. Hi. So tell me a little bit about the Valley of the Undocumented. I watched the whole thing. It's very powerful. Why was it important for you? Um, you know, I was asked to, to do this, this piece. They came to me with this idea. And, you know, I, I, my parents are Cuban. They're immigrants as well. Um, I was just really passionate about it, and I, you know, when we were, we filmed all the, these different families, and to see, to go into their homes and see how, how much they were like, like our families, like people that were, you know, were lucky enough to be born in this country and not have to go through the struggles that these, these families are going through, and, and it was just, it was so moving, and I had never really sort of, you know, b b like seen it up close and seen how, how hardworking and how passionate and how patriotic these families were and how much I think they deserve to be here you know I mean I, I feel like some of them were more hardworking and, and, and excited about about you know making a difference in their lives and making a better life for their children and for themselves more than people that were were born here you know and have, mm. have been here f forever yeah, I mean, look, we're, we're obviously on the uh, eve of Father's Day, but, but your piece, The Valley of the Undocumented, is very much framed as a kind of the dreams of our mothers and what our mothers want for us and from us and that fear of losing one's mother. Um, why, was, why was that aspect of it important to you? Um, you know, it's, it's the mothers, I think, that kind of pulls at all our, our heartstrings, right? I mean, when you think of your mom and, and some, of these, some of these dreamers were, you know, in their early 20s and, and even younger, and, and I put myself in that position, and I, I can't imagine being that age and, and, and having the possibility that my, my mother could be, you know, ripped away from me and, and, and moved to, to another country and then you're just kind of left there. I think, you know, it, it was a way to, to show people, you know, th this is a possibility. This could happen. And, and, and look who, who it's happening to, to these women that are, mm -hmm. that, women and men, you know, mothers and fathers that are here working so hard and, and making a living and going to work every day. And, and their children are, 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 are doing wonderfully. I mean, um, they're all in school, the, the families that we went to. So you know, a couple of the girls are are are, are pre-med from one of the mm. families, and they're just involved in all these um, extracurricular activities, and they're just they're they're prospering and doing so well. So the thought of them being you know separated from their families, it's it's devastating. It's 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 sad. It's scary. So we kind of wanted to shine a light on that and 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 show the world what you know what is happening, what can happen. It, it occurs to me that um, that as you're talking, you've a couple of times talked about basi basically empathy, right? Um, yeah. Getting to know people humanizing that experience so that folks aren't just strangers or or sort of pawns in a policy debate but are but are actual um, folks to us and obviously this is one important part of it do you have other ideas about how we can build that sense of empathy across communities so that we do know one another's stories 
Yeah, I think, you know, we're, we're in a time and an age where we have all this social media. I think people just just um, talking about the subject, just bringing it up and, and, and posting different stories and, and, you know, these PSAs, hopefully that, that will start to make a, make a difference and people will, you know, kind of see themselves in, in these stories and, and think, you know, well, th th this is something that, uh, that's really moving me or that, or that I want to help with. Maybe it'll get, you know, some young people in, in school and college that want to sort of, you know, c come out and, and help and, and do something and volunteer and, you know, hopefully all of that will, will, will